Hey guys, thought I'd show you guys all the boys with their summer hairdos. <laughs> See how thrilled they are about it? What was that? What are you doing squeaking the pig? Why are you squeaking the piggy? Why? I just wanted to show your summer hairdo. Look. Look how handsome you look. Yes. It's funny when you shave them down. Yeah, oh, at least my dogs. They act like they're embarrassed or something. Like they're naked. <laughs> right, Mozzie? You think you're naked? Huh? I noticed on Max's head. Let's see if it'll show up on camera. Right here, he's got this really tan spot. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can or not. At first I thought it was like a um, scab or blood or something, but it's not. He has like a little tan spot on his head. Kind of weird. Anyways, I wanted to show you their new summer hairdos. And I wanted to ask a question, that uh, answer a question that was asked in the comments. And I, that's another thing. I wanted to let you guys know that anytime you leave a comment, I read them. Sometimes I don't have time to respond to every single one. Um, like my video where I asked you guys um, what made you subscribe to our channel, what video was it? Um, I read every single comment, even though I couldn't respond to everyone. I got overwhelmed with the amount of comments. I couldn't believe it um, that I got on that. But I read every single comment. But with the comments I get on my videos and messages on my Facebook page and comments on my Facebook page, I get overwhelmed sometimes with answering comments. And I try to answer private messages all the time. It may take me a day or two just with things going on in everyday life. Um, my grandma's been sick. She just got out of the hospital, but she's she's in and out of the hospital a lot. Um, so that, you know, we deal with um, just everyday life, having four dogs. Sometimes it takes me a while to respond. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. But I thought I'd ask, answer a question I got recently, uh, I think it was on YouTube, about how we came up with the dog's names. And I thought I, I thought about doing maybe a video a week with your guys' questions. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below if that's something um, you'd like me to do. Like I could answer the questions I get in my uh, comment thread on YouTube or... Um, I could ask on Facebook questions you guys have and then maybe once a week do a video answering questions. So give me feedback on that if you'd like me to do that. So Mozzie was our first schnauzer. So Mozzie's name came from my husband's favorite TV show at the time, White Collar. And there was a character on there named Mozzie. So if you guys ever watched White Collar, you know where that name came from. Okay. Then we got Max, who is actually Maximus, and we were just trying to think of a name. We weren't thinking, oh, we want M's or anything at the time when we got Max. We just wanted a, I think it's a German name. I think my husband said he wanted a German name. So we named him Maximus, which we call him Max. Then we got Marley, and at that time we thought, oh, we got two M's. We need to stick with the M's, <laughs> which I don't know why, because now I'm constantly mixing up their names but the kids and I's favorite dog movie is was Marley and me which I can only watch one time because I ball my eyes out I cannot watch it again <laughs> just like the movie Hachi have you guys ever watched that with Richard Gere oh my goodness it wasn't the greatest movie but my god did my heart break for the dog in that movie when Richard Gere died if you guys have watched it you know what I mean i bawled my eyes out. I refuse to ever watch that movie again <laughs> because I cried and I was so upset. Um, anyways, going off into another direction. <laughs> um, so Marley was after Marley and me and then Miggy was named after Miguel Cabrera, Cabrera, sorry, Miguel Cabrera, who plays for the Detroit Tigers. And his nickname is Miggy, so we named Miggy, Miggy, right? Which is good because you love playing ball just like Miguel. Yes, you do. 
You love playing ball just like him, don't you? Yes, you do. So anyways, let me share with you guys some mail we got. And then I'm going to end the video there. And I wanted to let you know, too, that I'm trying to get at least two videos a week uh, for you guys. I don't know if they'll be ever be on a specific day, but I want to do two videos a week at least. Um, so hopefully, what's today? Today's Thursday. The what is today? Today is Thursday the 18th. So starting next week, I am hoping and praying I can get two videos a week for you guys. And if I could get them to where they are certain days of the week so you know when to expect them, I'll let you guys know. But I, right now I'm just hoping two a week. <laughs> just because things have been crazy. So, is that all you got to say to our friends? Is that all you got to say? <laughs> all right. So here's the clip I shot of the meal we got in our P.O. box. Hey guys, we got some mail today in the P.O. box and I wanted to share it with you. Um, first thing we got was a package from Southern Draw All. He's the gentleman who does the Schnauzer note cards and different drawings. And I have to show you the cute envelope. Look at it. He drew Schnauzers on it. Isn't it cute? It says, it says over here, we're hungry. <laughs> I doubt uh, he'll mind if his address shows because he's in business, his business address. But this is what he sent me. He sent me a bunch of cute note cards. Thank you so much, Michael. Okay, let me show you the different illustrations. Here's the first one. And they come blank. I don't know if I showed that in the last video. Uh, they come blank, so you can write whatever you want in there. So there's the first illustration. Here's the second one. Let's see here. Here's the third one. And my favorite one out of the four. Schnauzer's lined up over the fence. Isn't it cute? I'm going to have to change out my uh, frame with the other note cards with some uh, new ones every now and then. Kind of switch them out. <laughs> but he sends enough um, envelopes, too, for your note cards. And I'm not sure the price um, for his note cards. But I'll put all his information um, down below so you can check it out if you're interested. He does great work. He also has a Facebook group called Schnauzer's Rule. You might want to check that out. It's a nice Facebook group. Um, if you're a schnauzer lover. And then he sent three of these. Nice, like, like you probably put it in an 8x10 um, frame. This one says branch manager. Thinking about framing this one and hanging it down in my husband's office. That's cute. And this one here. What the? <laughs> I always think my dogs are thinking that too sometimes to me. <laughs> and then this one says gonna get ya. So cute. So thank you so much, Michael, for sending these to me. And again, I'll have all his info down below. And he sent me this cute thank you card. So cute. Okay. So then we got a card from Beverly in Fort Worth, Texas. She sent this cute birthday card for Marley and Max for their birthdays that passed not too long ago. And she also sent in the card a picture of her dog, Shotzi. And she sent the two boys a gift card from PetSmart so they can get some treats and toys. <laughs> thank you so much, Beverly. So thank you both so much for the mail. It's so fun to get mail. And it always don't have to be something. I love just getting um, cards and letters. So I'll have my P.O. box in the description box. I'll have um, Michael's info for the note cards and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.